majority of the public, uh, when they see fire, they think of catastrophic wildfires, right? Like it's, it's scorched earth. When we're introducing prescribed fire, we do so under certain parameters. Fires really shaped what our, what our forests in Western Virginia look like. And we removed fire from those systems back in the early 1900s because of a bunch of big fires out west. The national agencies and the state agencies decided uh, that we didn't want fire on the landscape, so they removed it. The people participating, they're highly trained. There's a lot of thought and preparation. It requires a lot of attention to detail, a lot of focus on safety, and a lot of focus on what our desired ecological effects are. That's not, that's not a light task, that's a lot to think about. We have a lot of closed canopy mature forests right now. There's not a lot of diversity landscape wide in the forest understory. And so I see fire as one of our biggest tools to be able to add that diversity back on the landscape. These burns don't just happen without a lot of planning, time, effort, and relationship building. The controlled burn partnership that we have is allowing us to work at a larger scale. Here, what I see is that it's cradle to grave working together. The people are the best part of this partnership. These people just really care about what they're doing and they have a passion for it. And I think that that passion is translating into really cool outcomes. There's kind of three steps to it. There's the before the fire, the fire that gets all the attention. And then most importantly is the monitoring of those fire effects post fire to make sure that we are meeting the objectives of what we set out to do. This forest is just like, it's such a meaningful place to so many people. We're gonna have a hard time continuing to have a deep relationship with this land if we don't ask questions about this land's deep relationship with fire.